We are here today with FR Sky, the EX14 radio, and the first ever hands-on. We're going to take a look at it, uh, just find out about it. And Steve from FR Sky is going to be the man showing it to us. Let's check it out. Hey, everyone. It's a world premiere. No one's seen this yet quite in person. This is the EX14. Got to find it right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I don't know if you can see this. There's a little operating system here. This is not Ethos. It is not OpenTX. This is something called Ecos. And this is something that was developed in-house from our engineers. So it is essentially, this is the X14 transmitter shell. It's a complete X14 as far as it does have on the back. It does have a module bay back here. Um, but this is so new that a lot of the things that you would expect to work simply don't work. So, for example, the module bay doesn't work. It will have Bluetooth. I do not believe it's working right now. So there's is still work in progress. And the big thing about FreeSky is that when we have a new product that comes out like this, essentially what happens is when sales start to happen on the product, which I think this is going to sell very well, then they start really putting their manpower behind getting the things ramped up. But for what it is, it's absolutely stellar amazing. First of all, the X14 transmitter shell is just, it's gorgeous. This is something that's great to fly with. I personally fly with one of these as well as an X20 RS. Uh, but this is a nice little take with you kind of transmitter. And I think the big thing about this transmitter is going to be that when you have a training transmitter that you want to have just set up something for your son or daughter to learn how to fly, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is going to be it. Once you get this set up, uh, it will take a few minutes for you to fig figure out how to get the menus to work and to figure a way around inside of there. It's not impossible to learn but it's, it's, it's somewhat intuitive. Um, it's definitely not ethos, but what this will do is once you get it set up, you can create a simple basic model and you can set this up as a trainer. This does have an ISRM module in there, which means it works on 2.4 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz as far as ACCST D16 and 2.4 gigahertz access as well. And at some point, we hope that the module bay in the back does work so that you can put on other things as well to make it an even more compelling radio. Now, Jim, I'm going to give you some specs on this. So the, the X14 transmitter, just the, the big sister to this transmitter, sells for about $190. How much do you think this sells for? Well, that was my first question. If you're saying it's it's a great entry level, 190 I was I would think 190 would be the minimum if you made me guess without knowing the other price. So let's go to 150. All right, it is going to sell for $88. Wow, that's insane. It is insane. Yeah, <laughs> and this is a really decent little transmitter. The operating system is it's really cool. It's it is very straightforward. Um, it is definitely um, no thrills, but it is something that you will absolutely learn to work with and it's really designed for people who are into drones and things like that as well and drone camp it's something inexpensive it will set up multiple models as well so you can in this operating system you can set up multiple different planes or quads or whatever you're setting up and fly with it and how many models will it hold uh probably at least 30 i, I believe that i didn't look on the list i'd say it's probably about 30 at least 30 models and it's and so if you're watching right now and you're like where can i check this out uh there is a link on the free sky site and then i'll have all that information below in the description but uh when will they be able to actually if that's the first one we've seen when will we be able to buy one this could be coming out i would say within the first quarter you'll start to see the bet dealers and um the the big questions i have is what how do, what, do you update this transmitter um I believe it would be something like you go to a website and you would have to flash the internal module yourself and there'll be, we'll have videos out explaining how to do all this so we can put new firmware when it comes out, give it out to people. Awesome. And then, uh, will this be with you at some events that are coming up? 
Oh yeah, yeah, it's going to be coming around in the United States. So uh, I'll be this time of year. I'm going out to Arizona for events. I'll be going to the Perry Swap Meet. Um, most likely going to be at um, the Toledo Swap Meet, and okay. so like of course Joe Nall uh, later on this year. So all the big ones. All right, so you'll be able to lay your hands on this thing there. Yeah, and and like I said, all the information to find out more is below. You can go there as well. Yes, right. And uh, once again, this is not running Ethos. It's not running OpenTX. It's called Ecos, E-C-O-S. And it's a compelling little unit, especially for the price. It's going to do very well. So I want everyone to know that uh, this is not the only video that we're going to do. Steve and I are going to start doing one-off tips and uh, things you might not know about your free sky radio and, and you know we want to share these in little bite-sized videos just so right. you can put them in your pocket and take it to the field yeah little steve goes a long way so. <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone well that is the first time we've ever or you've ever seen in someone's hand the new uh free sky ex14 oh, and thank you uh, for Thanks oh, for having I'm excited. me. Yeah, th this was a, uh, this was a, uh, Hey, I've got something to show you and here we are right now. So uh, I'm excited to put it up there. All right. Awesome. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit all the buttons. Thank you.